Damn it. Halfway through the game in my notes. And I'm going to treat it like I'm not halfway through the game in my notes because I don't want to ruin the middle part for everyone. Don't want to waste my notes either. So Colton starts off being a jerk to Christina. That's going to bite him in the ass like it always does. You don't go around telling people you're off when you don't definitely have the votes. And he didn't definitely have the votes. He was just a power-hungry idiot and thought he had the votes. You know, go ahead and hit Alicia, Christina. Or go ahead and hit Christina, Alicia. Because you want to be a little bitch and not give her a place to sleep. I would have pushed you to hitting me and you would have been gotten the next one gone. God, I hate people like Alicia and Colton. I would have a hard time not punching somebody like that on the game. But then again, I'm pretty good about turning things around and I probably could have got one of them to punch me in the game. So in the challenge, Jeff was extremely hard on Alicia for being a wimp. Christina was being just as wimpy and Tarzan couldn't climb the thing. And he wasn't being that hard on him. I just wonder what he picked up about Alicia in the tribal councils that he didn't like her. And Colton not liking Christina playing hard enough in the challenge. Well, maybe he shouldn't have singled her out as going home. You want to tell someone they're going home and expect them to bend over backwards to help you win something? Screw you, idiot. What a little bitch. When Christina was talking strategy with the others, I was hoping... They'd flip with her. And I really don't get why they wouldn't. There's two of them. There's Colton and Alicia. Maybe Tarzan. They could have swung Tarzan. There's no reason to keep Colton or, or Alicia. She should have targeted Colton, really. I mean, he's been such a little idiot in this game. I'm sure they'd be willing to vote him out. It said Alicia is a special ed teacher. I'm thinking they're confused and she's a special ed student. And when Colton comes down with his headache and Christina starts taking care of him, I would have been beating him in the head. I'm just that kind of guy. So, yes, Colton's gone. Hooray. Appendicitis. And the little idiot doesn't want to go when he's got appendicitis like that's not a deadly move is it <laughs> moron and then the little idiot keeps the idol god what a little bitch and Jeff has the stretcher bearer I think I'd want someone a little bit more professional than that alright the show's back on I gotta go so 20 minutes left in the game no challenge, and a dual tribal. I didn't know what the hell that was going to be. Didn't think they'd be talking about Colton for that long. And so they didn't know what that was going to be, especially the other tribe. But I would have figured Colton tribe would have just figured they were going to talk about Colton. But Alicia was worried. Well, gee, Alicia, you think if you weren't such a bitch who was so open about who she was voting out, maybe you wouldn't have to worry. She is too stupid to go anywhere in this game. I hope Christina flips and gets rid of Alicia. I guess I shouldn't have said that yet. <laughs> So Tarzan the moron is talking psychology. Now I guess maybe he's a good person reader and just can't remember who the person was that he read. But I'm thinking he just doesn't know diddly and 
I mean, a leech is a complete bitch. You know, complete bitch versus nice girl. I'm not thinking the nice girl is only telling you what you want to hear. I'm thinking the complete bitch is a complete bitch and the nice girl is a nice girl until they show me something different. And neither of them has shown me something different on this show so far. So then Tribal starts and there's 10 minutes left to talk about Colton. I couldn't believe they're going to do that. But it seems they did. And cat. What's an appendicitis? God, what'd they do? They had people take IQ tests for this one and pick the lowest ones. If you're just a blo above idiot, you got selected for this show. God. I could not believe that. You never heard of appendicitis. Isn't there a kid song about appendicitis? Found a peanut. Found a peanut. Yeah, I guess she never heard of that one. So then Alicia comes up with about Colton taking the idol. Which I didn't quite get that. Why did she make it a point to tell him that? But then they didn't believe it. And then the rest of the tribe plays up not believing it. Well, except for Tarzan, who kind of tell them, tells them that they were telling the truth, and Jeff kind of bailed them out on that. God, Tarzan's a complete moron. Well, of course, because they're all morons who were selected for the show by their low IQs. And then they merge at 12. I was shocked. So at six men, six women... A whole new game without Colton this time so whoever really wants to win doesn't have Colton screwing them up so that's a good thing hopefully the game will get good now and they're back on the single beach which I liked a lot better than a split beach should be a good game now you get rid of Colton get him back on the single tribe and not knowing what they're going to do. And so in the preview, Tarzan flips out over something. And he's not going to side with the guys. So who's he going to side with? The women? So Tarzan's going to be this season's Cochran? Go side with the six people against the five people so that the six people can get ahead and then vote you out when you're normal six. Except, in this case, Tarzan could probably go further than six. So if he sides with the women, he is extremely stupid. Because he'll just be number seven. Well, they might get rid of Christina, but he's still six or seven, and he could go further than that. I'm sure of it. He's just a nice old goofy old man that nobody would bother with because he's too stupid to win. So if that's actually what's going to happen, somebody ought to feed him to a shark. Chum the water and talk him into going swimming. Wow, I just invented a new survivor strategy. Death by shark.